guys welcome back to world illuminate 11 for the third time i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here if you are new to the channel then a warm welcome to you really glad to have you over on the channel and if you are looking to have a personal reading done i am offering personal readings you can contact me via my email or via my website details are in the description box below earlier i did a couple of videos one was the weekly divine masculine message of giving support and encouragement to any divine masculines who watch the channel will come across the video at some point and um and then also a message in music you know a really beautiful song that came through very strongly to me yes last night you know a beautiful song and the divine masculines expressing their love for their divine feminine very much in their feminine energy you know of expressing that love which was also supporting you know that message in music was that song was really supporting the pick a pile that i did earlier in the day yesterday in which, you know, for all three pals, they were really expressing the love. Do check that out. Really beautiful messages that were coming through. If you haven't seen that pick a pile, do check it out. And and then also, you know, that uh, message in music was just, just really, really beautiful as well. So do check that out as well. In this video, we're just going to check in with the energy as we are about to move into the weekend as well to see what is going on with the divine masculines, the divine feminines, and also with the journey. So we are bringing in the Gilded Tarot today to see what is going on. So thank you, angels. What is happening with the Divine Masculines as we move into, well, what is happening with the Divine Masculines today and as we are about to move into the weekend as well? What is going on with the Divine Masculines? And then, thank you, angels. What is going on with the Divine Feminines? What is going on with the Divine Feminines? Okay. And we are also going to bring in the love for all seasons. So, thank you, angels. What is happening with the Divine Masculines what is going on with the Divine Masculines? Anything else going on with the Divine Masculines from this deck? Okay. And then, thank you, angels. What is happening with the Divine Feminines? What is going on with the Divine Feminines? Okay. Right. And so we'll do these cards first and then see what else comes up. So the cards that came out for the Divine Masculines. So the first card that we have here. Right. We've got... Okay. Um, let's start with this one, the King of Cups. So the King of Cups, this is about that love. You can see the Divine Masculine there holding that cup of love for you, the Divine Feminine. You know, they have that love for you. And that is the message that was coming through from all the, you know, from the bigger pals yesterday and also from that message in music that I did. You know, it is that love that they hold for you, the cup of love that they have. But, you know, they may sort of not be coming forward to tell you exactly how they they feel yet this is that king who has all that love but sort of keeps it all to himself so at the moment they're sort of holding on to that love not really moving forward to tell you how they feel but they have all this love for you and that's the message that was really coming through yesterday as well and then the next card that came out is the two of wands and the two of wands is about sort of making decisions so they are in this process of making decisions of you know what to do in their life you know which way to go sort of at the crossroads of where to go and you know where to leave behind which way to go to be able to move forward towards you their divine feminine so they can tell you exactly how they feel so they are in this place of the crossroads of you know making decisions of which way to go and that's also shown by the ace of swords which is also about decisions so they are making decisions you know decisions to leave the place where they are you know situations that they may be in so that they can be able to move forward towards that love the that love as well and towards their divine feminine and the next card that came out is the three of wands and the three of wands that is all about the planning as well so you know they are in this place of really sort of thinking about things making decisions planning and you know at a crossroads deciding which way to go and planning on how to actually get to where they truly want where want to go so they are in this place of thinking about a lot of things and planning so that they can be able to make changes in their life 
and the next card that came out is the knight of cups and you know this can be also about up and down emotion so this is also showing you that you know they may they are sort of up and down in their emotions you know they may be feeling you know that missing their divine feminine and then you know sometimes they're like they they they're just going through a bit of this sort of up and down in their emotions as well you know and that is something that they are sort of needing to work on for themselves as well and they're also working hard you know they are working hard in whatever it is that they're doing if they are in a job they're working working hard in that job you know if they are sort of trying to move away from this place of having sort of those you know the fear sort of coming in they up and down in their emotions they are working hard as well on this they're working hard on trying to make changes in their life you know as they go through this time of making decisions and planning so there's all a lot of hard work sort of coming in for the divine masculines to help them to get to that life that they truly desire with their divine feminine. And also they are building those foundations, you know, for the life that they truly would love to have. They're building the foundation you know, by working on themselves, by working hard on making the changes that they need to make, they are building those foundations with you, their divine feminine, so that they can be able to move forward towards that life that they are dreaming of. And this is also showing you that, you know, the eight of wands, that things are moving forward. So things are moving forward. You may not be able to see anything just yet, but there is forward movement. You know, your divine masculine is going within, working on themselves as well planning making decisions you know things are happening behind the scenes that you may not be able to see but these things are moving things forward you know as your divine masculine does what they need to do so that they can be able to move forward towards you so there is forward movement in your journey is the message that's coming through here and that is going to bring in good news good news for the divine masculines but also good news for you their divine feminine so this is showing you that there is sort of good news coming in, coming in as well to you with your divine masculine. So really beautiful. And the cards that came out for you, their divine, for you, the divine feminine, only three cards jumped out. The first one is the hermit. So this is about you sort of going within as well, the divine feminine. You know, this is the weekend, you know, a time for you to go within, connect with yourself as well, you know, working on yourself, just taking some time to yourself, you know, the sort of keeping the our outside world out and just really sort of going within, finding out what you want to do as well for yourself, you know, making the changes, you know, there may be things that you need to work on, plans that you need to make and things that you need to walk away from your own life as well. So this is about you going within. And you're also being shown here by the King of Wands that your divine masculine is loyal to you. So they are loyal to you. That's why they're working on making the changes that they, need to make the decisions planning you know the things that they need to make that they need to plan so that they can be able to move forward towards you you know to have that life that they are wanting to have with you they're building those foundations with, for for with you so they are loyal to you and really beautiful that's a message for you and you're being asked to have patience right now have patience with your divine masculine whilst they go through this time of planning, whilst they go through this time of making decisions and changing things in their life so that they can be free to be with you. So you're being asked to have patience, you know, go within, sort of work on yourself, you know, find out the things that you need to do for yourself and, you know, and just take some time to, you, to yourself, you know, to really sort of go within and find your way as well in relation to certain things that you may be working one for yourself so that's those are the messages that are coming in as we move into this weekend and the cards that came out from the love for all seasons for the divine masculine is the journey card and it says although you may be on a rough sea on rough seas a new chapter is on the horizon so this is showing that your divine masculine may be on a rough sea you know and uh, moving forward but they are on that journey and they are coming forward which is what was shown by um 
you know that eight of uh, the eight of ones that there is that forward movement so they are on that journey towards the life that they desire towards their divine feminine and even though it may be a rough sea for them you know as they go through all the changes in their life making decisions planning all sorts of things you know making changes in their life you know it may be a rough sea but there is the new uh, chapter on the horizon that is coming in for them you know that good news that is going to come in for the divine masculines as they move forward towards their divine feminine as well so a new chapter is coming in you know for the divine masculines as they move forward towards their divine feminine and the next card that came out is the abundance card and you know there's a rainbow there showing that they are protected as well and it says everything is going to turn out just fine so even though they may be on that rough sea and you know they are the they they things may not be going as well as they would like to they are missing you their divine feminine you know they have all that love but they're not quite in that place of being able to come to you to tell you exactly how they feel you know they then they're still sort of holding on to that love you know so that may be, that is a rough sea for them in itself because they they're not quite ready yet to come and tell you how they feel but the angels are saying to them everything is going to turn out just fine just keep moving or forward on your journey everything is going to turn out just fine and you will have abundance in all the things that you truly desire abundance in love as well you know with your divine feminine when you get to that other side of that journey and you know abundance in all areas of your life so this is about the divine masculine continuing on their journey and they are moving forward moving forward towards their divine feminine and the cards that came out for the divine feminine so the card that came out is the burning candle and it says your energy levels are low take a break so this is really powerful especially when the cards for the hermit card came out for the divine feminine if i can find it so the hermit came out for the divine feminine and the message coming through here is your energy levels are low take a break so divine feminine if you're really focused so much on you know this journey or you're working really hard on other things the angels are saying your energy levels are low take that time for yourself take this weekend for yourself you know replenish your energy go within shut out the outside world and just focus on you so you know it, it is about you taking a break and looking after yourself that is the message that is coming through and the next the last card that came out is the sacrifice and it says sometimes we have to make changes or give something up in order to succeed so divine feminine this may be why you are going within as well maybe there are changes that you need to make in your life and you are sort of going within to try and work out what changes they you what, what you can do to make those changes you know it is by going within that you find all the answers you know and so it is about you taking the time to decide on what to do or how to go about making the changes that you need to make so go within find all the answers because all the answers are within you and then you know you can then move forward and make the changes that you need so it's about you really sort of going within and thinking about things and you know just focusing on you as well for this weekend and not worrying about the journey trust that your divine masculine is moving forward towards you you know and there is all this message you know all these cards are showing that here yeah, they have all that love for you with all the messages that we had in the messages in music in the pickup power as well so you know just focus on yourself is the message that's coming through this weekend go within and focus on replenishing yourself take a break look after you and you know sort of replenish your energy levels and your energy as well so those are the messages that are coming through and we're going to check uh, with the twin flame oracle to see what is going on with the journey thank oh let's start that again okay they all really jumped out let's start that again so thank you angels what is going on with the journey what is happening with the journey thank you angels what is going on with the journey thank you angels what is going on with the journey okay i think it's just those three cards okay
So the cards that came out, so the first one is rebirth. So the journey is, your journey is going through the time of rebirth. It is all coming back to life. As your divine masculine makes the decisions that they need to make, as they let go of those up and down emotions, you know, they're working on themselves as well, working hard on, on, on letting go of the fears that bring in those up and down emotions, you know, as they work on planning and, you know, moving forward towards you, you know, it is all coming back to life so your journey is going through this time of rebirth it is going through a time of coming back to life so you're being asked to just let go and look after yourself and know that it is all happening you know there is that forward movement it is all happening moving things forward so that it all comes back to life and for now you can connect with your divine masculine um, on the 5D, you know, 5D connection, uh, cosmic connection, you can meet up and talk and make love that way, you know, just let go of worrying about, you know, the 3D worlds and just really sort of connect with your divine masculine that way. And when you go within as well, you know, that is how you can connect with your divine masculine. And the last card that came out is the breakthroughs and marching ahead. So this is showing you that all oh, the journey is ma marching ahead, you know, things are moving forward forward which really makes sense with this card that came out for the divine masculines this also shows the divine masculines sort of moving forward towards the their divine feminine as well so there is that forward movement there is that journey moving forward as it goes through a time of rebirth and that is going to bring in breakthroughs as well breakthroughs that are going to lead towards the life that you truly desire so what we're going to do now, we're going to bring in the divine masculine messages of love and the divine feminine messages of love as well to see what messages are coming through. So thank you, angels. What messages are coming through from the divine masculines today to the divine feminines? What messages are coming through from the divine masculines? And then what messages do the divine feminines have for their divine masculines? Because we really had so many messages from the divine masculines to the divine feminines the last couple of days. So what does the divine feminine want to say to the divine masculine? Thank you, angels. What does the divine feminine want to say to the divine masculine? Okay, so the cards that came out from your divine masculine is, I get lost in your eyes. So your divine masculine is letting you know that they get lost in your eyes. You know, they just love looking into you. And you know, that's how they really connect with you as well. When they see you and they look into your eyes, you know, they are letting you know that they get lost in your eyes. And they're also saying, I have to release the past. So this is the what they're working on. You know, this is why they're sort of holding that cup of that love to themselves for now because they know that they need to release the past that's why they're working hard we had that card of the eight of of pentacles which is all about the hard work you know that's why they're planning and making decisions they know that there are certain things that they need to let go of so they are saying i have to release the past for me to be able to move forward towards you and tell you of this love that i have for you i have to release the past so that is what they're working on which also makes sense because you were being asked the divine feminine to have patience the temperance card came out because your divine masculine is still working on releasing the past so you're being asked to have patience to focus on yourself go within replenish your energy and know that it is all moving forward your divine masculine is working on what they need to do to release the past so they can be able to move forward towards you and they're also saying i will never let you go so they was they're saying they will never let you go because of that love that they have for you you know and you that came through so powerfully as well in that song that i shared earlier which is called loving you. So they're saying, you know, because of that love that I have for you, I will never let you go. And then the cards that came up uh, for you, the divine feminine, the messages that you have for the, your divine masculine. So the first one is, I will never give up. So, you know, your divine masculine is saying, I will never let you go. And you're saying, oh, well, I will never give up either. I will keep moving forward on this journey and, you know, keep standing strong in my power keep focusing on myself, you know, but I will never give up because I have the that love for you as well, the divine masculine. So really beautiful that these two cards have come out. 
I will never let you go and I will never give up. This shows the determination for both the divine masculine and you, the divine feminine, for this love, you know, to keep moving forward. And that's what I was saying in that video as well, that, you know, you have this strong bond of that love and nobody else will ever do for either of you. Which is why your divine masculine is saying, I will never let you go. And you are saying, I will never give up. Really, really beautiful. And you are also saying, I am ready to begin again. So you are saying, I will never give up. I am ready to begin again. You know, right now I am ready to begin again. And you are also saying... Uh, talk to me. So you want your divine masculine to talk to you, you know, as, and you are saying rather than sort of keeping everything to yourself, you know, talk to me, move forward to me and tell me how you feel. And you're also saying, I want to fall asleep in your arms and wake up with you. So this is about you wanting to start again as well. You know, you are ready to begin again. You want to have the time of being together with your divine masculine so that you can fall asleep in their arms and wake up with them next to you. So this is what you were saying. And you're also saying to your divine masculine, we have a mission together. You know, you are saying we have this mission together. We are here to do bigger and great things together, you know, to help the planet, to help the rest of humanity. So it's not just about this love, but it is also about our mission. But, you know... There is so much love coming through here. You are saying, you know, even with this mission that we have, I will never give up. But with the love that I have for you, Divine Masculine, I will never give up. I will keep moving forward, keep doing what I need to do on my side to help the journey to move forward. So really, really beautiful. And we are going to just get a Divine Feminine Power message as well to, from the angels to see what the angels would like you to know today. So thank you, angels. What messages are coming through for the Divine Feminines today? Okay, so the cards that came out from the angels is, okay, replace doubt with faith. So the angels are saying, replace any doubt with faith. Trust that your Divine Masculine has all this love for you, that they're doing what they need to do so that they can be able to move forward with towards you. So replace any doubt with faith and stand in your faith because the more you are in this place of trusting and having faith, that is going to help your journey to move forward. And love is the answer to all your questions. So any questions that you may have, go back to love. You know, love is what will get you at your Divine masculine to where you truly where you both truly would love to be to be together again in the right divine timing so love is the answer to you all your questions and you're being asked by the angels to surrender the struggle so surrender the struggle let go and trust that it is all working out as it is meant to look after yourself this weekend you know replenish your energy and let go of the struggle and just know that it is all in the hands of heaven and everything is going to work out exactly as it is meant to for you and you are guided by angels so you are guided by angels there is nothing for you to fear replace any doubt with faith and know that everything is working out beautifully in relation to your journey so you're being asked to have patience as well and you know and to work on replenishing your energy with that place from that place of having faith that everything is is being worked out in relation to your journey. So we are going to finish off with the Divine Timing deck today to see what messages are coming through as well. So thank you, angels. What messages are coming through today in relation to the journey? Okay, so let's see what these cards are. So the first card is mo forward movement. So the angels are saying there is that forward movement. You know, your journey is moving forward. So it's about you letting go of, you know, of any struggle in relation to this journey and know that everything is moving forward your divine masculine is moving forward towards you your journey is moving forward as well you are moving forward so it's about you standing in your faith and trusting in the journey as well and then the other cards that came out as well the next one is you are a magnet what you give out you get back so the angels are saying you know it's, it's about standing in your 
faith and trusting and positivity and optimism and, you know, and staying focused on the end result, what you give out and being focused on love as well, because the more you are giving out those things, the more you are going to have all those positive things come in. When you are sort of giving out negativity and fear and worry and doubt, then that is what you're bringing in. So you're being asked to remember that, you know, the more you are in the place of love and positivity, the more you are helping your journey to move forward as well. And then the next card that came out is also the resurrection card, which is really powerful when we had that rebirth card coming out. This is showing that, you know, your journey is being resurrected. There is ever since, you know, March, April, you know, so this is powerful. In March, April, the journey is being resurrected. And for July, you know, the journey is moving forward. So this is showing you that progression, showing you that the journey is moving forward to to help you to get to that place of being with your divine masculine and the november card has come out for comic endings as well so the angels are saying you know as the month as the year progresses you know there is forward movement a journey being re resurrected is moving forward and then comic endings are coming in that are going to help your you know for you and your divine masculine to be free from karmic situations so that you can be together again. So there are karmic endings that are coming in in December, uh, November, and you are being asked right now to have faith. That's the big message that, that is coming through here. There was the card about replace doubt with faith as well you know they replace doubt with faith so the angels are saying it is all working out you know you have patience trust that everything is exactly as it is meant to be your journey is being reborn it's going through this time of rebirth there is that forward movement they are you know breakthroughs are coming in it is all marching ahead you can see there's quite a lot of that forward movement marching ahead you know and everything is exactly as it is meant to be so you're being asked to have have faith you know the more you have faith and you let go of the struggle and you trust that it is all as it is meant to be and in the right divine timing it will all come in for you the more you are helping your journey so look after yourself this weekend go within replenish your energy and just be in that place of having faith and trusting and find that inner peace knowing that great things are coming in and it is all coming in for you in the right divine timing i hope you have a great weekend guys i'll see you on the next video monday love, peace, positivity, and light.